the DJI O3 finally has some level of support for high definition OSD. So uh, the firmware version is 01050000. That's for the goggles too. And it means that you get a 53 by 20 canvas to use with Betaflight OSD. Uh, so you do actually get the high definition canvas, but what you don't get is automatic detection of high definition mode. So you will need to go into the CLI and manually set the canvas dimensions. Uh, in fact, hang on one second. I recently ran into this issue where I was I copied the CLI from one quad to another and it had the wrong canvas dimensions uh, and my OSD was all messed up and I could not figure out what was going on. So uh, if we look over here in this text file of mine, in your CLI dump, there are two options, set OSD canvas width and set OSD canvas height. And for walk snail and for this new O3, the correct uh, canvas width and height are 53 by 20. Uh, and for WTFOS, it's some other numbers. And it turns out, I don't know what they are, but it doesn't matter because with WTFOS, the video transmitter communicates that value to the flight controller automatically. You don't need to set it manually. But with all the other video transmitters, you need to set it manually. And now you can, with the O3, finally get HD OSD. Okay. Yeah. We get to get anything I left out? No, that sounds about right. We're awesome. happy that DJI put Betaflight in the firmware notes and that they're actually making an effort to uh, participate. So it's great. Yeah. I'm super, I'm super yeah. psyched. I'm going to do this immediately on all of my O3. If you don't know how, like the HD OSD means you can use the full widescreen of your, not just have your OSD be in the center and you get like smaller characters with more resolution. It's just fantastic. So you definitely want this. Uh, now I have to make another tutorial, unfortunately, showing how to do it with the O3 because the old tutorial doesn't work because they didn't implement the freaking ability to auto detect the canvas size, but hey. Yeah, and to be clear, this also this update also pushes HDOSD for the Air Unit and Vista um, as well mm -hmm. through the Goggles 2. Okay. So now the Goggles 2 support that full HD. Also, for real quick, for anybody who's trying to find this and can't and are frustrated, it's in the display menu under a, a setting called Canvas Mode, and you need to switch it from normal to HD to get this to work. Oh, you need to make a change in the Goggle menu. That's correct, Dang. yes. I mean, okay, I guess that makes sense. Once again, if they had fully implemented, so Betaflight 4.4 implemented the ability for the VTX to talk to the flight controller. That's the short version of this. And that means that this stuff could all be handled automatically. The flight controller could say, hey, I support high definition OSD. The VTX could say, yay, so do I. Okay, let's do it. And it would all be automatic. And that in fact is what WTFOS does. Yay, WTFOS. Uh, but, uh, it's nice that, it's nice that they have the option at all. Okay. Uh, okay. Nope. Let's move away from DJI news. This is not just the DJI news show. Yeah. This uh, is not the DJI news show. That's true. It used to the, be sort of like that. The V2. That's an interesting question. Hang on before we go on. The V2 okay. goggles when used with the O3 air unit, do they also get this, Blunty? Are they also supporting 0105, whatever? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that, that's, oh, okay. that's what I was I trying to that. tell you. Yeah, so HDOSD works for the, the goggles, the, the the air unit and the Vista as well on the goggles too. That is in the release notes. The oh, V2 nice. goggles do not get it. The V2, the V2 goggles do not get it. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, the V2 goggles do not get it. The V2 goggle release notes, as far as I saw, only list O3, not the original Air Unit and Vista. Because with this new firmware, the Vista and original Air Unit don't work with the V2 goggles anymore. They only work with the goggles too. Because 01.01 broke but you backwards compatibility. It's... Sure. Maybe that's why. But yeah, either way, they don't list specifically okay. that, you can, that you can do that. So. Okay. Well, no, Joseph, there's also a Goggle V2 firmware update. It just only affects the O3. Just, just, just respond to somebody in chat. Gotcha. It's not just a Goggle 2 update. 